this evening's lecture by Professor Bart Ehrman. All right, so I know he wants this to be the last thing and wants me to hurry up, but I, I, I mean, okay, I want to tell a story. Uh, so, uh, so here's the deal. Uh, you know, my students, some of my students get upset, some get their eyes opened up, some, some you know, think that they are liberated, now they become crazy, you know, atheists or something, I don't know. I mean, some do that, but may, mainly most students actually just appreciate getting greater knowledge. For me, actually, the stranger thing is that in my 23 years at Chapel Hill, uh, teaching 300, 500 students a year, I have never gotten a complaint from a parent. And in fact, in all my time in Chapel Hill, I've only received one phone call from a parent. I mean, I've taught, so if I teach five, I probably have taught 400 a year for um, 23 years. And so I've, you know, I've taught 10,000 students. I've only got one phone call. So this was about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. I'm sitting in my office. I've just posted my final grades. And I get a, a, a mother calls me. And I think, oh, here it goes. I'm going to get my first phone call complaining about a grade. Well, it was kind of that. She was complaining about a grade. Her daughter had taken my class and had gotten an F and had flunked out of school. Dr. Ehrman, I just wish that you could change my daughter's grade. I said, well, I, you know, I, I can't just change your daughter's grade because you'd like me to. I, Dr. Ehrman, I'm just praying to Jesus that you will change that grade. <laughs> I said, well, I, you know, I appreciate that, but, you know, I really, there's nothing I, I can do. And, and I said, well, th you know, give me your daughter's name again. She gave it to me. I said, well, let me go look. And I, I looked it up, and, um, you know, I, I, I looked at the scores, and, and she had gotten a, uh, a 56, and the passing grade was a 60. And so I said, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I can't, I just can't add points because, you know, you would like me to. Well, Dr. Ehrman, I'm just praying that Jesus will change your mind about that. So, well, okay, you know, I, you know, I appreciate that, but I, I just can't hang up. So I started thinking, uh, I, it was one of these large classes where um, I had several teaching assistants who had done the grading. And the, the guy who had been the teaching assistant for this particular woman uh, who would fit, oh, oh, I didn't tell you the important part. Yeah, here's the important part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the important, this woman tells me in the midst of this conversation that she works at a vegetable stand in western North Carolina on the side of a road, and she's been saving her money her entire life so her daughter could go to college. And since she's flunked my class, she's, she's been flunked out of college. And so I'm feeling terrible. I mean, you know, this, but, you know, I can't just add four points. I mean, so what can I do? I mean, so I'm feeling bad. I, so I, I decided, well, I'm just, I'm going to look, you know, just look at this. So the thing was, the teaching assistant that this particular woman had is one of these guys who's really good in ancient history, but was never very good in math. <laughs> and so I pulled out the grades, and I said, you know, I'm going to recrunch these numbers. I re-added them. He was off by four points. <laughs> Absolutely true. This is not a legend. <laughs> this is absolutely true. He's off by four points. She, she, had, she, she got. I called her up. I said, I don't know what kind of prayer life you got. <laughs> okay, I need to stop there. Thank you very much. <laughs>